Well, welcome back to Stewart Arts. In this video, I'm going to share some of my lidded boxes uh, that are inset with medallions and coins. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how I do this, and I'm going to share a tool that I made out of an old screwdriver that helps me get a real good fit between the medallions and the tops of my lidded boxes. I spent some time learning how to cast pewter medallions and also dome coins uh, to make elements for my lidded boxes. I made videos on these and if you're interested in those processes uh, I'll include the links in the notes above. To help me get a really precise fit between the medallion or coin and the piece that I'm turning uh, I've created a tool here to help me uh, get this uh, little register here. So this is an old screwdriver and I had it down in a box of uh, tools that I'm not using anymore. I guarantee you I didn't spend any money on this. In fact, I think a friend gave this to me. But uh, what I did is I just uh, I, I took it to the grinder and I ground off uh, the left edge. Actually, I took the whole blade off of this thing, but I ground the left edge and I put it at a slight angle here and then undercut it a little bit so that when I'm cutting, I've got a nice cutting surface in this direction. And then same thing for the tip. I've undercut the tip a little bit. And, and so if you look carefully at it, you can see that this makes about a 90 degree angle. So it's, it's angled this way, but it's also angled this way. So this is very close to a 90 degree angle. So when I'm turning the, these pieces here, uh, I can use this tool to get a nice square corner. Now in this particular case, this is a domed coin, so I needed the, uh, the edge of this to have a slight angle to it uh, so that it fit well with the domed coin. Uh, but uh, this is just absolutely the perfect tool uh, to get me right up to where I needed to be. Another advantage of having this particular cut on this tool is that uh, when you have a small item like this little ironwood box here, when this was still attached before I had cut it off, it was the perfect tool to get in here and to clean up the sides and to make a nice square cut at the bottom of this. Uh, so there's a nice 90 degree angle and you just kind of feel your way through it and you're able to get a nice clean square cut on the inside of this. I'm certain that there are better techniques for doing what I just showed you. Uh, if you have any comments or other tips, I sure hope you'll leave those uh, below in the comments section. If you like the video, be sure and uh, push the like button, and I sure hope you'll consider becoming a subscriber to the Stewart Arts channel if you have not already done so. If you're ever in the neighborhood, stop by. I'll give you the nickel tour. What happened to his head? I don't know.